welcome to Influencer, our series of conversations with the world's thought leaders, the people creating the trends that we're all talking about. Our Influencer segment is presented by AT&T. Check out the new HTC status from AT&T, the only phone with a Facebook share button. Hop on your phone, get connected, and join the conversation. He's a rapper, singer, entrepreneur, and tech wizard. Since being discovered as a teen, Will I Am continues to consistently excel and redefine himself as an artist. Now he's focusing his energy on helping children and teens interested in technology gain the recognition they deserve. You know him as the seven-time Grammy Award-winning founder of the Black Eyed Peas, Will I Am. Welcome to the studio. What's up? What's up? Welcome to What's Trending. How you yeah, doing? I'm good. Uh... <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what's up? We should have asked. I should have. That's my job as a host, to get them to applaud you. No, no, it's cool. I'm, I'm you know, just really excited about this uh, TV show that airs August 14th. Uh, I'm First Sciences Rock and Roll. Yeah, so tell me how you started working with FIRST, which um, stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Yeah, well, I was on tour yeah. backstage <clears throat> riding my Segway. Oh, nice. You know that, that, that little phrase, uh, you can't read, I'm not trying to redefine the will, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, people say that a lot. <laughs> so I was on my little Segway, and I was thinking like, dang, I wonder who invented this. This is crazy. Like, who's the guy who invented the Segway? So I called a friend, Ron Conway, um, and he introduced me via email to Dean Kamen, who invented the technology behind the Segway. So I called Dean Kamen on the phone and was like, yo, I'm really, truly inspired by you. Because yeah. um, after when Ron Conway gave me his information, I just Googled the hell out of Dean Kamen. And I realized he invented the water purification system wow. and the, uh, um, you know, a lot of, you know, the portable dialysis machine. Uh, He's just today's Edison, this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he invited me over to his house in New Hampshire to see other inventions he uh, made. Um, and he told me about US First, where he teaches kids from the ages 8 to 19 about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then I met some of the kids. I met like a 13-year-old who writes code that builds robots, right? I met like a 8-year-old that makes Legos roll and move. Doesn't that inspire you when you meet the kids like this? I, you don't understand how much they inspired me. These kids inspired me so much that first I was like, uh, he told me that every year they have a robotics competition. Yeah. I was like, what? I never heard of a kid's robotics competition. So he told me, check it out. So I was like, check it out. We're performing at the Super Bowl. Why can't we perform at the halftime show of your robotics competition? <laughs> of course, so, that makes total sense. I'm sure they have the same budget as well. No, no, no. <laughs> so that budget, I, I, that, <laughs> I, that was my budget. I paid for it. Right, so, but the thing is you have to do that. Yeah. Right, because if we could perform at the Teen Choice Awards and these kids are getting Ds and Fs, we, why come nobody's going out and reaching out for the kids who excel in science, mathematics, and engineering, right? Yeah. Why not? So we did this, you know, I put this whole show together. So then I called Dean like, hey Dean, if we just perform at the robotics competition, we're just gonna be preaching to the choir because all these kids already know about it first. We need to put this on TV. Put on network, yeah. So. We filmed the show, then I'm like, how am I supposed to get this on TV? Then I realized, like, these kids inspired me, so I went to, like, Ugh. I know how to climb up mountains. You're a hustler, like, like so, Lonnie Love. So I called up ABC myself yeah. and bought airtime myself. You did? Yeah, because what, what, what's going to happen is people are going to tell you no, and they're going to tell you no with, when, uh, you're going to tell you no to things that you know shouldn't get no's, right? Morally, we know that there should be you know, science programs in every school. Not everybody's gonna be Kobe Bryant. I love Kobe, what up, right? <laughs> yeah. But not every kid's gonna be Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Not every kid's gonna be Reggie Bush. What up, Reggie? You know I'm faster than you. <laughs> Anyways. Let's Reggie, do more shout outs. Yeah, okay. Right, no, but Reggie knows he can't. I'm faster than Reggie. <laughs> but not everybody's gonna be Reggie Bush, but there's football fields in every school. There should be science programs in every school. There should be code writing in every school, right? Mm -hmm. There's a recession, but everybody went out and bought the new iPhone, even though their last iPhone still worked. Everybody went out and bought an iPad 2 when they got the iPad 1, just because they had a camera. Everybody, right, it's like, and there was a recession. Right, it took code writing, it took mathematics, it yeah. took science to make the technology. You have to concentrate the, on those people. Now, this is a first on our show. You've actually brought some little friends here yeah, with you. Yeah, some robots. Some robots. Yeah, this, this guy's the first like time a, this, yes. Uh, I, I built this robot with, with some, uh, some first kids. I mean, actually, I didn't really do much. I was like, watching. <laughs> but I you promoted. That's I a lot. Screw, I screwed in that one. I probably screwed that in. And the other kids did the rest. And so what do these do? So this is like similar to one of the robots 
Of course, the ones they send to Mars got better hardware. Yes. But it's the same concept of the rovers that be on Mars and stuff. They got better wheels and what. And this robot, like, you know when people be doing that robot dance? Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, this guy could actually do the robot. Can we see that? Come on, son. Check that fool out. Oh. I'm going on tour with this cat. You know what I mean? Because, you know, budgets are low. It's like, so I could have, like, a whole bunch of these dudes doing routines with me on stage and whatnot. It's a robot doing the robot. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah. That's a first. Check that Saying out. Saying that I'm with Will I Am and a robot on stage <laughs> in the studio. Now, we have actually a question from our Facebook fan page, Rom Cali, who's curious to hear your thoughts on how music can be a positive force for change in a time when our country seems to have lost its imagination. Um, that's a really good question and a really good point. Yeah. Um, one of America's biggest export is our culture. Yeah. And we're a big force in the world, but our country has no culture ambassador. We, all of our culture becomes disposable. Um, and now, places like Korea with K-pop and places like Europe, the whole dance sensation, are leading the world. Um, and it's, it's kind of sad when you think of Motown, you think of blues and jazz. It's like, dang. At what point in time are we just going to remember that culture and sharing and trade is important, even if what you're trading is art? Mm -hmm. You know, so, and you know, it's tripped out of our schools. There's no art programs in schools. There's no music programs in schools. Tell Quincy Jones what music out of his life would be. Mm -hmm. You know, tell these kids that, that, that have excelled in music that kept them out of crime, right? When, 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 when art and music and, and and science isn't in school, you just, we're gonna see the 80s all over again with gang banging and, because these kids have no outlet. Yeah. Well, speaking of music, how does technology influence yours? Well, I remember in uh, 1999, we were in the studio, and the studio was about as big, bigger than this building. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, to get reverb, you had to go into a big room mm -hmm. that had echo and reverb and whatnot. Now. My studio is my laptop. I'm recording in my hotel room. I'm recording it and putting it online and sending it myself. I don't have to send it to no record company, right? I don't have to send it to no a &R that's gonna judge it. I can just send it to the people that are gonna judge it and share it. That, that's dope, that's technology. Yeah, and you were great in terms of how you use music and viral videos in the 2008 campaign, Yes We Can which was incredible. Now, do you have any thoughts on how you're gonna maybe do that again for the 2012 election? This is my part of doing that. Yeah. Right. Yes, we can, man. Yes, we can. You can't sit and wait for cats to do things that you know should be done. So, I don't know if, I'm only gonna make a video when I get inspired. Yeah. This is my inspiration. This kids that are part of US First, Dean Kamen. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not about the whole Crips and Bloods Republican and Democrat hoopla. The, yeah, yeah. It, I'm not about that. I'm about true innovation, true inspiration, and that inspiration is via technology and watching these kids do amazing things and being dedicated and disciplined. If you could support the troops, we should be supporting our geniuses, these little 10 year olds, 12 year olds, 15 year olds, right? These are the leaders of the world in the next 10 years. And if we don't support them now, they're gonna go out and create new technologies and new jobs and they're gonna move them outside of America because America wasn't there to support them when they were going through the grinding dirt and just, right, you have to mm -hmm. applaud these kids. You have to acknowledge what they're yeah. doing, right? It's well, a, you, gotta see, you gotta see these kids. Tune in August 14th yes, to see these kids Yes, that's what I was gonna say, things. is this is so inspiring what you, you're doing and it's really important. Of course, find out more about the importance of science and education on iamfirst.dipdive.com, your site. You can also join the conversation on Twitter with the hashtags IamFirstTV and OMGRobots. Be sure to watch I Am First Science's Rock and Roll on ABC this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Will, I am, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.